Welcome to the Fox 35 Sports Zone. I'm Jessica Ely. Kurt Kitayama may not be a household name just yet, but this weekend he hung with the best golfers in the world at the Arnold Palmer Invitational, winning for the first time on the PGA Tour. The final round started with everyone chasing Kitayama. He had a one-stroke lead over the field, and things were going pretty well for him through the first eight holes, but Kitayama dropped out of first after a triple bogey on nine. Now, Jordan Spieth birdied four of his first five holes. He took the solo lead at one point, but he had struggles on the back nine, three bogeys, one on 14, 15, and another on 17. He'd finished tied for fourth at seven under. A lot of big names were in contention. Last year's winner, Scotty Scheffler, chips in this beautiful shot from the rough to birdie nine. Uh, Roy McIlroy was making a charge today. He is going to drain this short birdie on 16 for a share of the lead. He'd finished tied for second at eight under. Now, Akitayama never lost hope. Here he's on 18. He had a tough shot out of the rough, but he hits the green. He has a pretty good look for birdie. Nearly rolls into the hole, almost hits the flagstick. Uh, that sets up a very easy par putt for the win. So he's going to tap it in, and he wins the Arnold Palmer Invitational at nine under. Yeah, it means a lot um, to be able to play against the best, and to beat him just feels, you know, amazing. Um, to finally come out on top. Uh, yeah, it's just a great feeling. You can hear the cheers. Um, you can hear the names who they're yelling for. And uh, I felt like surprisingly there's a few few more for me today. <laughs> uh, so that felt good. But, yeah, I think just the whole experience, just got embraced it when, you know, everyone loves, you know, those, those other guys. And uh, so, yeah, you just embraced the whole experience. Kitayama outlasted players like this guy, world number three, Roy McIlroy. Bit of an up and down day for him. Seven birdies and five bogeys. Not the finish Roy hoped for, but overall he is very pleased with his game right now. You know, it was a, a good week. You know, saw some positive signs. Games rounded into form for the, you know, for the, the bulk of the season. So I'm, uh, you know, even though I didn't get the win, I'm, I'm still pretty, you know, pretty happy with how everything went this week. And plenty of people stopped by this weekend to support the players. The fans we spoke with said it's about making memories and the love of the sport. So we're coming from Sweden, so we travel. Uh, yeah, we came here on Wednesday, travel, so it's quite, quite, quite far. I love the game, and I want him to love it the same way. He's been playing for a couple of years in the junior league now, and uh, the opportunity when the when the tour rolls through town to get out is uh, is fantastic. So uh, any opportunity for us to to get out, enjoy the time together, um, and and share our passion is great. Our Fox 35 team hit the green to watch this weekend's event. Check out these pics of meteorologist Allison Gargaro with reporter Stephanie Buffmonti. They enjoyed the day at Bay Hill with Allison's fiance, Gibby Gilmore. Fox 35 anchor John Brown was out soaking up the sunshine on Saturday, and it was family time for a good day anchor Ryan Elijah.